What is up, babes? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am beyond excited because we have my long-awaited skincare video, and I'm just stoked, honestly, because my skin has changed so freaking much over the last couple of months. It's insane. I'll insert some pics. Okay, the glow up is real. I am wearing no foundation today, and that is like, it's a moment for me. <laughs> All I have is a little bit of highlighter and some blush and a little bit of contour uh, under eye concealer, but I don't have anything on my skin. It is out, it is open, it is breathing. Let's jump in. So right off the jump, I wanna talk about my favorite face washes I've been using. We're gonna do a demo, I'll show you exactly how I wash my face and everything. I've been loving Dermalogica's Clean Start line, specifically the Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. This is a very um, natural product, but it still cleans your skin and works on acne. My skin is very sensitive, however, and this is the perfect product for me. It's full of essential oils like lavender, chamomile, tea tree, orange peel. Um, it does have salicylic acid in it for acne, but because it has all of the oils, I think that's kind of what balances it out so that it doesn't burn my skin or anything like that and it's still very very sensitive for me I use this in the morning and at night highly recommend another favorite of mine clearly it's almost gone is Alana Mitchell's foaming pumpkin cleanser this is for all skin types um, it's kind of a more of a fall face wash it has a nice like pumpkin chai latte smell I really love it and it is a foaming facial cleanser I love foaming facial cleansers they work so so incredibly well for my skin type um, they're great for getting rid of oil and debris off my skin, but they're also not too harsh where they leave my skin feeling squeaky clean, which you don't actually want. Let's jump into how I actually wash my face. Let's go to the bathroom. So for the past couple of months, I've been using Vandy Planet's Spin Brush, and I've been comparing it to the Clarisonic Brush. I was sent both, and honest to goodness, I'm shaken by the Vandy Planet one because it is the same exact thing. It works just as well, if not better, because it's actually a little more sensitive of brush heads, which is perfect for my skin because it's super, super sensitive. Um, and it's a fraction of the cost of the Clarisonic brush. Like I said, the Clarisonic one is great as well, but this one is so much cheaper. It's insane. So I have been using the daily cleansing brush head for my cheeks, around my mouth, my chin, nose, all that jazz. Um, it's been really good at getting off makeup and just, you know, cleansing my skin, doing a little exfoliating at the same time without being like super abrasive or anything. Right there, you can see how much makeup I got off. I wasn't really even wearing that much. So I do feel like it's probably better than using your hands. It's got two different brush beads, which is dope. And then actually for my forehead, I've been using a different brush head because as you guys know, my forehead is where I primarily break out. So I've been using the silicone brush head, which is hypoallergenic, and I feel like it's really been making a difference in the texture of my forehead, which as you guys know, that's what I'm trying to work on. So yes, this portion of the video is sponsored, but I genuinely, genuinely love this product. I stand behind it it's been working for me and I'm gonna keep using it so if you want to check it out use code India 70 for 70% off now once I am done washing my face I jump in with my Curology if you haven't seen my video on how I cleared my skin this was one of the big 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 key factors I'll link in the description box down below Curology is it's a game changer and I had so many of you guys message me saying that it has changed your skin in like a month and a half already and it like, it literally gets me emotional. Like, because dealing with acne and dealing with bad skin is just so, so frustrating and to get messages from you guys saying that it's helping you is just like, it's a game changer. I highly recommend Curology. It has literally changed my skin. Next, I wanna talk about skin oils. I always thought that because my skin was oily and acne prone, I should never put oil on my skin, but I realized now that I was actually washing my face too much when I had really bad acne. Um, I was stripping my skin of its natural oils, and in turn, my skin was rapidly creating more and more oils, and that was a big, big leading factor to my acne. So I've actually been hydrating my skin. Um, ever since I started using Curology, I've been really trying to jump on the skincare bandwagon. I've been hydrating my skin like 
crazy and I jumped on the bandwagon with Sunday Riley's UFO acne treating oil now this oil is expensive it is I'm not gonna lie to your face but it is so worth it it's not even funny um, it doesn't smell the best it's a slightly potent but I would literally smear dog poop on my face if it would make my acne go away so I don't care what this smells like it works and it's great not only is this oil great for acne and blemish prone congested skin but it's also really really great at hydrating your skin so it's going to help to make your skin look more luminous dewy young fresh all that jazz I love it highly recommend it's worth every penny, honestly. Next, I wanna talk about a moisturizer. As I mentioned earlier in this video, before I started working on my skin and really trying to figure out, I wasn't using moisturizer because I thought, oh, my skin's so oily, I don't wanna add more moisture, and boy, was I wrong. Uh, recently, I've been using Pure Lease, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, it is their Blue Lotus Bouncing Moisturizer for normal, sensitive skin, and I adore this. Um, I haven't been using it too terribly long, so I'm not like, it's not my holy grail yet, but I really, really do enjoy it. Please comment down below your favorite moisturizers in the description box because I really haven't found the perfect moisturizer for me. I feel like this one's a little bit thick for my skin, but leave, leave some suggestions down below for me, please. Last but certainly not least, I've actually been using Tarte's Maracuja Oil. Around, an, around my eyes, under my eyes, for any like crow's feet, kind of trying to prevent wrinkles around my mouth and my smile lines, things like that. Um, trying to stay hydrated and prevent aging, basically. One final thing I wanna briefly mention to you guys is a new product that I have started to use. I just got it a week ago at BeautyCon, so I can't swear by this product. I don't know how it's gonna affect my skin, but I do think it's a very, very interesting concept to say the least and I did want to introduce it to you guys. This is a snail mucin power essence. That's right. You heard right. This is made out of snail secretion. I'll read this little part right here. 96% snail secretion filtrate. This essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. It's hard to say, I definitely haven't seen like crazy big changes in just a couple days from using this product, but I will keep you guys up to date. Let me know in the description box down below what your thoughts are on like snail bee essence and all that stuff. It's a little crazy, but if it works, it works. All right guys, so that's everything. That's my skincare regimen. It's definitely not a crazy 20 step skincare routine. Um, you don't need 20 expensive skin products to have great skin. In my personal opinion, I have seen drastic changes in my skin just from in implementing some very, very simple steps. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like down below, and click the notification bell. That was a mouthful. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. She'll always get the best of me The worst is yet to come All the misery was necessary When we're deep in love This I know Hey girl, I know She told me don't worry